Five teams are about to do battle in the kitchen to create the perfect accompanying treat to a cup of Guatemala Antigua coffee. Their task is to highlight flavours which best accompany the coffee. Apples, caramel, chocolate and nuts. Who will come out on top? We're here at the Underground Cookery School in London to find the best charity bakers around. Let's go and meet the teams and find out what they're making. Fran, what's happening here now? So we've just made a chocolate cake that's just come out of the oven. Um, we've got two smaller cakes here as well. Um, and now Francis is kindly making a cream cheese frosting to go on top. Um, and we've got a late addition of some coffee drizzle as well that we're putting on the cake. We've decided to make it look like a coffee cup on top. Oh, end, so. great. I'm here today with Mike Malone, um, a great little charity. We've got a team, we've got Tony's Granny's recipe for a apple walnut cake. We're looking around so everyone else seems chaotic, but we've got a good little work, uh, workflow going on, so I think we're going to smash it. I'm working with Plan tonight, and they are making a white chocolate and dark chocolate swirled cake with salted caramel and then a coffee crunch topping. So I think they've got a decent chance. all about? Well first and foremost it's about bringing people together which is what Starbucks does best. We're bringing them together for a great reason which is to celebrate being the first company to bring Origin Espresso to the high street and today we're particularly looking at Guatemala Antigua and we've got a great bunch of people. We've got a heap of charity workers all vying to win £2,000 for their cause by baking the most scrumptious cake using Guatemala Antigua coffee so really exciting time. They seem to have created some great cakes. I saw one with apples in it which looks fantastic. of Starbucks Cake Off 2014 is You can cut the tension with a knife. So we're so thrilled to have been tonight uh, with Starbucks to work on this uh, cake uh, challenge to celebrate the Guatemalan coffee. And we've got 2,000 pounds tonight that's gonna to be going to South Sudan. South Sudan in December fell back into terrible civil conflict. 1.3 million people have been displaced. Half of those are children. There's a risk that 50,000 of those children will die before Christmas because of malnutrition. The 2,000 pounds is gonna to go to programs that will save their lives.